Hey there, Sam. As we mentioned in the previous video, Laravel makes heavy use of facades and magic methods, and that makes the auto-completion in our ID quite limited. For example, for a validator instance, we know that we can call the validate string method, but it is not showing up in the autocomplete dropdown. How do we fix this? Well, do not despair, we have a solution. And the answer is to install the IDE helper package. We'll go to the package repository and go ahead and click on the installation instruction, go to our terminal and paste it in, in our project. Once the installation is completed, we'll need to run a command to get this package to work. So if we go down to the documentation, under the usage section, the package offers us a few PHP Addison commands. The IDE helper generate command is the main way for us to generate the PHP documentation to improve our IDE auto-completion. We also got models to improve the auto-completion for our model and meta for PHP Storm users. Let's try out the main generate command. I'll go to my terminal, paste and run a command, once we're done, we'll go back to our code. And now you'll notice that our IDE is now recognizing that's a method called validate string on the validator instance. It is no longer giving us a warning. And if I toggle the auto completion list, we can see a lot more items are showing up in the auto complete dropdown, including all the validate helper methods. Isn't that neat? All of this magic is possible because the IDE helper package has generated a file called IDE helper in our project root directory. Now, if we take a look inside, it is basically a list of pseudo class or symbols, mainly there just for our IDE to pick up and provide us auto completion. This file will change every time we add a new dependency or remove a dependency because it is really dependent on the classes or packages that are available in our project. And also, we should really add this file to our git ignore list because we only need this helper file for local development. Now, as I mentioned just now, we should regenerate the IDE helper file every time we make changes to the dependencies. But manually triggering the generate command is far from ideal because I'm too lazy to do that. Is there a better solution? Yes. We can add the generate IDE helper command to one of our composer hooks. Now, if we go to our composer JSON, under the scripts section, there's a field called post autoload dump. This is a special script that will automatically triggered by Composer every time we run the dump autoload command. I'll go ahead and add in the IDE helper generate command so that every time we run dump autoload, we will also generate the IDE helper. And since I'm using PHP Storm, I'll also add in the meta command. Okay, great. Let's try this one out now. I'll delete the IDE helper file and go to our terminal and run Composer dump autoload. Now back to our code, we can see that the IDE helper file has reappeared. Isn't that neat? And now you've got the IDE helper on your site, you should be invincible. Key takeaway for this lesson, Laravel uses a lot of facades and magic methods that are not IDE friendly. That means our IDE may not be able to pick up all the API that a particular facade is offering. However, this problem can be solved by using the IDE helper package. It solves this issue by generating an IDE helper file to aid the auto-completion. That's it for this lesson, and I'll see you again in the next video. If you enjoyed the content of this video, don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and the bell icon for more content to come. It will really help me out. Thanks for the support.